Hey, what's up? This is Drawn Malo, Master Hypnotist, Master Law of Attraction Practitioner. Today, we're going to be talking about self-acceptance. Self-acceptance is one of the major parts of spirituality. This is a little, little vague, though. Like, what does it mean to self-accept? Does that mean, like, you're just there not doing anything? What, what does that exactly entail? What self-acceptance means is that you accept every single part of you true self-acceptance is when there are no broken parts there are no fragmented parts there are no parts that need to be repaired there are no um, missing piece there there are nothing it's nothing is broken because you're fine you're perfect however that is a that's a journey of itself to reach that level of self-acceptance that is the goal the goal is to reach that level of self-acceptance where you fully are a whole integrated person and all your parts are self accept uh fully integrated in who you are so let's get a little specific oftentimes in spirituality there's something known as inner child inner child is the parts of you that were kind of left behind and not fully nourished not repaired so these are your old self these memories of your past self don't just like you know, they don't just, you know, they're there, but they don't actually get healed because we don't understand these high-level spiritual uh, concepts very well. So how do you fix that? Well, you simply retrospect back into the past, into your own memory. Like you meditate or you contemplate or you, you know, you get guided hypnosis or whatever it is that you need to um, go back in time so you are speaking to that inner child, that past child, the old you. So it's the present you going into the past, speaking to the younger version of yourself. And that's what that is. And then you communicate with that person. You give that, the child what the child needs so that it's repaired. The way I think of it, it's quite simply this. The broken parts of you are simply kind of like a, a red X. These are the red X or kind of like a little booby trap sometimes. I don't know if you've ever seen like Minesweeper. What's that game called? Minesweeper? I don't know. It's like that little game with like the X. And you try to find the, the bomb or something. So metaphorically, these things, these parts are like a little red X that needs to be nourished, corrected. So it needs to go from X to zero or X to check. Zero meaning neutralized, check meaning repaired in a positive way. Another way we can metaphorically express this is your mind is a, I don't know, like a, a city, right? Let's say that it's a city and the certain parts are all like a swamp and these swamp parts are metaphor, are, represent the memories of the old you that have not necessarily been healed and fixed yet so you need to go back in time to fix those sw the swamp you need to go back in time to clean the swamp it's like the swamp you know it gets resurrected or rather no it gets created but it never actually gets cleansed it never actually gets healed because no one takes the time to heal it right if you spill milk on the floor you don't just say oh well that's it it's just there no, you actually, you actually have to take the time to clean it. The same thing about our spiritual personality, our spiritual um, identity. We need to take the time to do maintenance work. With a car, you're driving a car, right? You know you got to take the car to a shop and get it cleansed and get it cleaned. And when it gets dirty, you have to clean it. You hire someone to clean it. But unfortunately, spirituality is very misunderstood. And... Because it's very esoteric, it's very it works on a very invisible level. So for sure, like people don't really understand these concepts. It's like how do you prove it, right? You prove it by simply doing it. You prove it when you're doing it and you feel the healing effects from it. That's when the proof comes. So this ties into self acceptance because there's broken parts of ourselves that needs to be repaired, that needs to be fixed. A lot of these things come from past, you know, past issues. And also the fact that our personalities are really 
uh, artificially created. They're fake personalities. These personalities were simply created because we have to cope and survive and live in a world full of people and we have to make money, we have to become successful. So we develop a personality on top of our true self. You can say that. So the the example that's typically used here is like a mask. You have a mask in front of your real identity. I'm trying to think of another way to say this. Sometimes they also call it like a clay. You have a clay covering up gold. And the gold is the, your true self, which is your divine self, your your essence, your your core self, your real self. But we create this mask on, or the clay on top. And that clay gets mistaken for our true self, our true identity. But really, re in reality, that clay is just just there to protect us and help us cope with the environment, cope with life so that we are able to, to function and perform. That's really what it is. Unfortunately, we never take the mask off. We never get rid of the clay. Right? So we have to kind of detangle all these things. We have to unlearn what we have learned. And we have to start cultivating our true essence. Because we were created here to live out, to live our purpose, to live our, our being, our core self, our real self. We are a manifestation of God and we are created to be, uh, and you could say many gods, many gods who are a reflection of God, but we all have our own unique differences, which makes us unique, but we're still a representation of God. Unfortunately, in this modern age, we have lost touch with our true nature. We have lost touch with everything. So we are kind of like, we're, we're deep, like we're like, broken parts we're like fragmented parts we're not even operating from our real being we're operating from survival tendencies survive we have to survive we have to also thrive and you know this and that but that's really just another aspect of surviving so we're not really doing who we are we're not really being who we are because we have to s survive and we have to cope so what do we have to do to truly self accept? That's a really that's a really tough question. I think that's just, I can give you like a universal guideline to this. And the the word that's used typically used for this is to surrender. However, I wouldn't say I'm at the final point either of acceptance, but I'm definitely like really far into it, but not exactly in the final version of it. That's for the simple fact that these things take time. It takes time to reverse engineer and destroy 20 plus years of programming, 20 plus years of, of experiences. Uh, make no mistake about it. Everyone is programmed to some extent because you cannot live in the world without being programmed. That's literally impossible. Every single experience, every single thought, every single thing, every single second that goes by is a programmed experience to some extent so in order to accept yourself you have to kind of let go learn how to let go of all these parts that are just not really of your being they're not really they're kind of artificial parts of yourself and you have to learn how to or we have to learn how to let go of those things So I'm trying to think the actual solution. It's hard because you have to survive and then you have to learn how to self-accept. And that's why I would recommend just simply taking the time 10, 20, 30 minutes a day or an hour even to let yourself just be. Let yourself like be like go wild. Like for 10, 20, 30 minutes, just let yourself kind of like loosen up a little bit. Let yourself just kind of like be wild, be crazy, be silly, be funny, be whatever. Be whatever needs to be expressed from your essence. So I don't know, like maybe something silly like go hug a tree, go lick the ground. And I'm being kind of kidding here, but 
I'm just using that as an example to convey a point. Another thing is, again, I, I feel like I've broken record. Meditation is also good for helping you to self-accept. So you can to identify the parts of you that were artificially created this way that you can deactivate them or just see them as what they are. Artificial parts that were created to survive in a world where you need to, where your survival is number one. And it's understandable that survival is number one. You have to accumulate resources, acquire money, pass down your gene, etc. The thing is, that stuff, at some point, people need to kind of get past that stuff. To kind of get back to the core self. Alright guys, that is all for today on self-acceptance. I hope you liked this video. If you liked this video, please check out the links down below. I got Manifest Shortcuts for you. Manifest Shortcuts is the best ebook on Amazon right now that will help you learn how to manifest your dream life. Whatever it is that you want to achieve, you can achieve if you believe. Now, click on the link down below and check it out. I also have Dominate the Online Business Game for entrepreneurs, businessmen, and people looking to dominate the online business world. Please sign up to my newsletter and we'll talk some more next time. Bye-bye now.